Cat. It's Maximus here. This time with a quick little video about an AF and Co. Made in France. These are some box joint jewelers pliers. We actually have uh, some other wording there, but I just cannot read it for the life of me. Maybe if we zoom in just a bit more. I don't know if that's a part number or what. I just can't read it, unfortunately. Anyway, zoom back out. These are box joint, little box joint jewelers uh, deck bill pliers. Pretty short, about one inch nose. Overall length about four inches. Actually pretty good steel. But you can really tell is even though they're small pliers, if you really squeeze hard, these handles don't want to go anywhere. They are nice. It's not perfectly centered in the manufacturing, but they are box joint. That means that on both sides of the pliers, the handle goes through. And you wonder, well, how on earth do they get the handle through here? It's a more expensive manufacturing process because they forge out both sides and they actually have to take punch a hole through these this what would be considered the outer section, spread it apart, take the moving jaw or the narrow jaw, push it through the expanded hole, and then they hammer it back down flat. It's much more expensive to manufacture that way because it's a lot more steps and it's harder, it uses more tooling. The advantage is that you do get pliers that are quite strong. They maintain their tightness too, even over long periods of time because they're not relying on just the rivet on each side. The rivet goes through like a hinge pin and then the box is what provides jaw stability. So as these box joint styles are really good for twisting and turning and they'll just always kind of maintain their uh, alignment. That's a nice thing. These work really smooth, super smooth, but if we look, if we try to wobble them back and forth, they're super tight. Anyway, AF and Co. I did notice that they were made in France, so I thought, oh, okay. And then there's the little AF and Co. stamp. Kind of hard to, actually, it's been, was difficult for me to find information about the AF and Co. company. I know they also had some tools that were made in Germany. And I know they're relatively popular because there's actually quite a few of these I found online. I do like one of the other aspects is if we look right down here head on to the jaws, you can see that they've actually kind of did a chamfer, a little bit of a taper so that the center is wider than the each of the, the top or the bottom. So it just makes them a little bit easier for access. So besides jewelry, for somebody like me, they're, these little tiny duckbill pliers like this are great for working with little wire terminals, uh, jumpers, all sorts of little electronic stuff. We just need a small pair of flat nose pliers, but you do want them to be relatively rigid, pretty strong, because you're going to put a lot of torque or twisting, trying to get out, you know, what once again, wire terminals, little clips, things like that. And I thought, wow, these are just a great little French made set. Don't see a lot of French made hand tools. And so I did want to do a little video about them. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.